Latex gloves. Adam and Cole win a play in games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Hey there, interwebs. I'm Adam, that's Corwin. This is Handbasket Gaming, and today we are playing Blaster Master. We are. Which I know nothing about. I have never played it before. Yep, we're playing Blaster Master. Stop eating your buddy. microphone, please. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. I uh, left two. So uh, I tested this out just enough to get the feel for it, and I'm hitting the wrong buttons and failing horribly. Damn it. Ooh. I literally, I just... I like how you're playing a dune buggy. Why can't I jump anymore? Oh, that was weird. Okay, so there's... Yeah. I literally, like, this... It felt very intuitive, and I was playing through and just, like, and wrecking shot. Oh, oh, that's oh, death that's, down there. Oh, that's not good for you. Um, you I learned don't something have today. The, that the is... deep root power connection. What? <laughs> You're straight up dead. All right. Well, I learned something today. I. Uh, but yeah, this. Uh, Are you just I, fighting mud people? I get uh, golems, perhaps. Mm, neat. The clay I, golem. I oh, like. No. I mean, a lot of games from this time frame are all the same kind of. They all have the this one's platformer not, with like. Yeah, this is different for sure. But there's yeah. there is similar enough that it feels familiar. They don't make games like this anymore, and it's just that's just not how it is. I don't. Yeah, really. I, I I don't, they don't uh, make side scrollers like that. That's not saying it's bad. I think it's cool. I think it's interesting to see things change. Because as an example, this is a uh, very science fiction themed game. There aren't a lot like this that are science fiction. This is a unique game. Well, yeah, and you play as a tank, which is unique for a platformer. To be sure. Whoops. Yep. I needed to go over there now. I I, I left the oven on, so I decided <laughs> to. Whoa. Okay. No, you didn't. You're a fucking squirrel. Hey. <laughs> very nice. That was a. Eddie is a folks in the back. Uh, oh, West Wing. We're talking about West Wing because right. we've said for two episodes now that we're going to talk about West Wing. Let's talk about so, West Wing. Uh, you asked me who my favorite character was on West Wing. Yeah, tell me and about And I honestly couldn't tell you because there are so many great characters. But if we... Uh, and I think I may have stolen this idea from a podcast that I listened to uh, where they discussed uh, a whole bunch of stuff about West Wing. But... If we break it up into different like categories, like for example, you break it down. Uh, like you know, you go with you know main series cast, guest stars, you know like reoccurring smaller roles, stuff like that. Uh, it becomes a little more manageable. Like uh, let's see. Oh, let's go main series. What's your main series? Well, let, let's hold off. Let's let's make that the, uh, the finale. The for finale. It? Because all right, guest stars. So let's let's go with guest stars. So uh, oh, John Goodman. Let's talk about John Goodman. John for a Goodman second. played the Republican that uh, that took office. Uh, yeah, he when... did a good job. He he made he was a good character. Are you gonna die ever? Or am I am I doing damage to this guy? Do I jump over him? Oh, I do not jump over him. <laughs> uh, but oh, yeah, he I thought you killed him for a second. He did a sister. very good job in that role. And like had very big shoes to fill in, uh, you know, that replacing Martin Sheen, like not not replacing him in the series, obviously, but being in, you know, being in his be, being the president uh, in the same way that, you know, and just trying to be the president in that show. You're going to be compared to Martin Sheen yeah. and Martin Sheen did such a great job yeah. with it that uh, that I think he did a very impressive job with that. I uh, I also like like just just sidestep not not going too far from uh, from the West Wing, but I will point out that when he plays the dean of the uh, of the uh, community co or the, uh, the, the the heating the, heating the HVAC, cooling, college. HVAC yeah. college, yeah, it was a fun role for him yeah. too. Well, John Goodman is one of those actors that I put in the category of not only has he never been in something bad in my experience, he takes bad things and makes them good by being in them. Like, him and Tom Hanks are the two that are in that category. Did you see Tom Hanks' his new movie? Which one? The one where he plays... Mr. Rogers? Mr. Rogers. Oh, hell, I've been looking forward to that yeah, that uh, that jam. That's going to be for, so good. Like, since it was announced, like, six, eight months ago, something like that. Like, forever ago. I, I just saw the trailer when I went and saw a movie oh, with Kat. Oh, I'm, I'm alive? I'm alive. I don't okay. know for how long. Yeah, me either. Hey, I'm not getting too air. far. I promise yeah, yeah, yeah. I get too far from West Wing. But just... yeah, yeah, I, lo I love uh, I love John Goodman in everything he's in, and I love uh, I love Tom Hanks with all of my heart. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, back to West Wing. 
Uh, I'm trying to think of other good, other there really strong guest stars. Good guest stars that would show up for a little bit. In the uh, like, I I would argue that Mark Harmon is a, like, like a reoccurring character when he plays the uh, the Secret Service agent. Yeah. Okay, there's got to be something I'm missing here. Hey, there's a ladder button. Well, you took a picture, so that's got to be... I can what? get what? out of my tank. This well, I've better, done just change the game. There better be a new tank up there is all I'm saying. Oh, no. Oh, this is the exit then. Probably. Do it. Oh my god, the game what is so different is now! This what game? is this? This is a, such a great- How did I never know this existed? Also, can you kill that thing? Is this fucking your Yeah, yeah, out. I got it. Alright, I, I needed to figure out the strat. Oh, get it, you get it to quote on that wall. There yeah, you yeah. go. Now you got it. I got it. I got it. Uh... But yeah, uh, oh, why was it? The, uh, there's also the guy who plays Ron Butterfield. Uh, the, uh, the I one Secret Service named Butterfield. Ape. Interesting. I remember that guy. But yeah, he uh, he's very strong. But he's he's another one that I would put into uh, series regular, mm -hmm. like not not like main cast, but like series regular. I'd be I'd be torn as to whether or not uh, as to what category to put Mrs. Landingham, because she is like she's in contention for like favorite favorite uh, character in the entire show. I will say you've got me a little bit of disadvantage. I've seen the show, but I don't remember most of the characters' names. Uh, I just remember the, that I really liked certain characters. The uh, the president's main uh, secretary. Oh yeah, the one that you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In uh, in two churches is the name of that episode, and Damn, that is some down. powerful shit. Yeah, that is a that fucking episode, episode wrecks you. Like wrecks me every time I watch it because like I, for those who haven't seen it, Martin Sheen has this. Whoa, okay, I. Uh, this very powerful monologue that he gives uh, in a church where he's like, and uh, his character, Jed Bartlett, is a devout Catholic. And he goes into this church uh, for this funeral, and, or like after this funeral, like he's alone, is... alone in the church uh, because he's the president and he can arrange that to happen. Uh, and will you die already? Stupid mummy head. All right. Got uh, missiles out of that. Yeah, I guess. Uh, but he's in this empty church and he's essentially just yelling at God and it's just so fucking like the writing is so on point and his acting is just powerful That's like good. it makes you feel things and it's so very good that suddenly reminded me I didn't tell this story from Comic Con this year oh what's um, what happened at Comic Con so uh, Jen and I dressed up as Steven Universe and Pearl from the show Steven Universe. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought it would have been Bambi, but... Sure. Uh, so, uh, since we were dressed as uh, characters from a uh, ostensibly a children's show, uh, it... Okay. Um, we got, you know, we got our, our fair share of being stopped by uh, by kids to uh, to ask for pictures and whatnot. Uh, but in addition to that, we got stopped by uh, this uh, this older woman who uh, asked for a picture and then asked for an interview because she was apparently writing an article about uh, Steven Universe and essentially the effect it has on the fans. Uh, because like it's a it's a powerful show, yeah. and you know it's intended for children, but absolutely has a very large older audience. And so we were given this interview, and midway through the interview, uh, oh, we're back here now. Uh, midway through the interview, uh, I see out of the corner of my eye Rebecca Sugar walking down the street, who is the creator of Steven Universe. Awesome. And it was the first time, like, I joke about, because uh, we've met we've met celebs before, and Jen tends to completely lose her shit slash not remember what happened while she was there. Uh, like, we met uh, James Marsters and Anthony Stewart Head at various cons, and afterwards, I had to recount to Jen what happened, like, and what was said, and, God damn it, I did it again. I... <laughs> uh, I'm familiar with some of those stories about her just straight up forgetting. Yeah, uh, but 
with Rebecca Sugar, it was the first time that I had that happen because it was. Uh, because you're I, just so excited. About I it. literally like after piecing it back together in my brain. I don't know why I'm fighting this guy so hard. He's nothing. He's not important. He's inconsequential to my story. Yep. I. Uh, I, after piecing it back together, I essentially, I, uh, she was, I, uh, she was walking by, and I'm just, and I said, "Oh my God, Rebecca Sugar!" And she sort of, she sort of waved, and I'm just like, "Could I get, I, uh?" And literally, like those noises left my, left my mouth, and then she's just like, "No, I have to, you know, I have a thing that I have to go do." Can I not? Whoa, fuck. Uh, oh, he got you she's just like, I've got to get to this thing as she's walking down the street. And I'm just like, okay, totally understand. And then she's like down the road a little way, but it's just like, I have more to say. I'm just going to say things. And then uh, I I managed to yell out, uh, you're amazing and I love your work. In like, But like, in, I am certain that I was the most like <laughs> embarrassing slash insane fanboy voice. Where I'm just like, oh, you're amazing, I love your work. <laughs> That is amazing. Why can't I jump? Uh-oh. Well, if you can't jump. Oh. There you go. Okay, there we go. Uh, but yeah, that was super fun. And no, oh, no, 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 dick move. Oh, jeez. Okay, that was a much smarter way of fighting that. Uh, what was I talking about? I was talking about West Wing. Well, you're talking about how you met... Um... Oh, oh, I was saying that uh, the reason it brought it to mind is because uh, in the interview, uh, and essentially what I wanted to try to convey to Rebecca Sugar if she had had a bit more time, uh, one of the pull quotes that uh, that they that uh, the lady used was, Rebecca Sugar makes me cry on a regular basis, and I love her for it. Because that's, like... That's how the show sort of hits people, is that it's got it's got power behind it. Are we just are we just doing this? Like, I I don't think you're hitting him. I wasn't. Yeah. But that's fine. Uh Alright, let's let's get to main cast of West Wing while I uh while I die to this guy one more time before okay. the end of this episode. Uh the main cast favorite wait, character. Main cast favorite character. <sighs> that's a tough one. Is it Charlie? It, it, ooh, Char Dulé Hill as Charlie is very strong, but I mean, I love me some Toby Ziegler, I, but in later seasons, he sort of fell off because they had him commit treason, essentially, and like, I was, I was very annoyed at that because it mm -hmm. was, it Not wasn't his. entirely out of character, but it was enough out of character that I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, you know, Jed Bartlett. Yeah, uh, Martin Sheen is amazing. I also love Allison Janney as uh, as C.J. Craig. Mmm, it's a rough one. Visiting characters, her fling, who is the uh, um the reporter, I liked him a lot. Oh, Danny Kincannon. Yep. Danny Kincannon cannot be a. You cannot forget Danny Kincannon. Cannot. Can I nearly forgot Danny Kincannon. Cannot. Well. Um. Leo, I gotta go with Leo. Leo, really? All right. Like it's it's uh like I just I identify with Leo far I'm, I'm too bad, much. I'm bad at names and I'm a the little vice, uh, or the uh, oh, no no, no, no I, not the I, vice I remember Leo. But, oh okay. Uh, the one I was gonna say is the gentleman who has the blonde secretary who's very witty. Oh and, God, Josh. Yeah, Joshua Josh Lyman. Is actually, my favorite. He's up there too, but like I think the reason I identify I identify with Leo simply because he works very hard for very little glory and like he's just he's just so focused on keeping the wheels on the wagon and keeping shit running and like it's it's, relate. it's a pretty thankless job but he's not asking for the thanks and it's yeah it's good i i like it can i just go through him no he's not a door and I've died. No, he's I'm, just I'm a dying. few monsters. So we've is. got we've got Leo McGarry and uh, and Joshua Lyman as our two favorites. Uh, who are your favorites? Questions and, answered down below. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, tell us. Tell us about West Wing. If what do you think about? Yeah. It? Uh, <laughs> uh, watch our other videos where we kind of talk about other shows and yeah. kind of be funny. We kind of talk about some things sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. How would you like a sandwich?
We'll go get one. I, yeah. It's all for you, buddy. If I make a sandwich, will you eat some? That's what yeah, I'm really well, asking. Come on over. We'll make a sandwich for you. Yeah. Unless you're a weirdo. It, well, I mean, with us, especially if you're a weirdo. Bye. Bye. <laughs> ah!